I actually can't believe that I'm able to sit down and film this today. And quite frankly, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. It's just something I felt like I wanted to sit down and chat about. But today I am celebrating my 200th day of sobriety, which is just totally mind-blowing. I thought it was tomorrow, but I have this I Am Sober app and they send you notifications on your milestone days. And holy, I never in my life, ever in my life thought that I would be able to do this and here I am doing it. And really I wanted to just do a casual sit down kind of mind dump because when I was thinking about this, I don't know if I wasn't seeking it out, but I felt like just wasn't something that was being talked about, sobriety. But again, I probably was turning my head or not really seeking out those resources of sober curious or how to approach sobriety. I mean, the most that I knew about it was going to AA meetings and seeking out help through that path. And just to give you a little backstory, at the beginning of this year, so today it's July 20th, 2021, in January of 2021, I decided to do dry January just for the sake of, and without any expectation or any notion of extending it beyond that, it just kind of rolled into February, March, and so on. And here I am at 200 days. 200 days I haven't had any alcohol and it's been far from easy, but from my heart to yours, it has been the biggest thing in terms of self-care and self-love that I've ever done. Call it bold, call it what you will, but truly the biggest thing in terms of taking care of myself that I've ever done in my life. And I have to pat myself on the back. I have to, you know, give me claps, hug. I'm so grateful for my body and I'm so grateful for my dedication to this path. Really, I have never felt better. <laughs> No surprise, right? Again, it, it hasn't been easy. There's days, there's moments, there's weeks that are really flipping hard. You know, I, I've gone through a lot of waves. I'm so grateful for my yoga and meditation practice because they've taught me so much about the skill of non-reaction and non-judgment and willingness to be and breathe with whatever comes up. And I've heard this phrase so many times prior to being sober, but this feeling your feelings. When I was drinking, I would always think like, what does that even mean? Of course I'm feeling my feelings. Like I know what I'm feeling, but in sobriety, everything is sharper, stronger. You're far more in tune and there's no numbing it. There's no escaping it. Whatever you are feeling, you are feeling it tenfold. It's scary, it's challenging, but I've just never felt so connected with who I am. And at 30 years old, I feel like I'm learning who I am for, I don't know, the first time in my life, like who I really am, what my values are, what's important to me. And it's just been such an amazing, holy 200 days. I'm just so thrilled, my mind is blown. And really, I just wanted to sit down and film this and share it with you because if you're at all thinking about it, if you're curious, may this help one person to choose to explore sobriety. Gosh, I hope this video helps you. I'm so lucky that I have a small circle of people who have been nothing but supportive and here for me, there for me. It's been really challenging, really, really challenging. and. I've come to find out and learn how alcohol is our central point for so much in our life. Our events, our celebrations, when we're sad, when we're happy, when we're neutral, there's alcohol there. Taking that out, something that's so weighted and important and necessary, making this choice for me, it's just been so healing. It's been so healing and eye-opening. And again, if you are at all curious, I just would love to share this as a support system for you on your journey and your path. I'm very early on in my sobriety, I'm just transitioning out of, I believe what is called the pink cloud. It's like the honeymoon phase of sobriety where I just felt like you're like swimming down the meditation river and everything's easy and you're skipping through the tulips and sobriety's awesome and sobriety is awesome. But I'm just starting over the last couple of weeks to transition into a very different phase of feeling angry and upset and, and navigating these feelings that for me personally, I'm not super familiar with or comfortable with. I may be rambling a little bit, but quite frankly, I'm just so excited. I um, got home from teaching a yoga class and just as I was on my way, the I Am Sober app sent me a notification that today was 
day 200 in terms of my milestone and I'm just so thrilled, so happy. Again, if you're at all getting curious, lean into it get so curious, commit to it, try it out. For me personally, I have found it to be so helpful to not think ahead. So often I have to come back to the present moment and I just remind myself that I am just choosing to be sober today. I'll deal with tomorrow, yesterday's gone, but all that I have to do is choose to be sober today and show up in the world as my best self, as my most authentic, genuine self, whatever and whoever that looks like that day. And taking out alcohol has just made that far more realistic. You know, I pride myself in walking this path of wellness and health and taking care of myself and alcohol was really harmful for me. Truth of the matter, I had a very unhealthy relationship with drinking. I tried to tell myself that it was normal. I justified it. I said everyone does it. But for me, I just had a terrible relationship with it. I had gosh, awful hangovers. It made me feel guilty. It made me feel shameful. It made me feel bad about myself. It was a huge knock to my self-esteem. And I've also realized on this side of sobriety, alcohol was actually fueling my anxiety. I would wake up the next day after drinking and my anxiety would be so bad. Come to find out this is a common thing. Um, but I just learned a lot about myself in the best way possible. And I do hope that this video, this chat, this heart dump, mind dump. I hope it's helpful to you. And if nothing else, I hope that it's made you curious and planted a little seed about sobriety. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to chat about, you know, this choice with you and answer any questions or concerns that you may have. My name is Caitlin. I don't even think I said that at the beginning of the video, but it was truly my pleasure to just sit down and share this with you. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. You know, how I like to wrap up my videos, it's truly taken on a different meaning. And how I like to close my yoga classes, that phrase, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Be kind to others, absolutely, but when I was drinking, it was very hard for me to be kind to myself. You know, I was breaking integrity every time I would drink with myself. And I just find that I'm nourishing my relationship with me. I'm healing my relationship with me. It's been really beautiful. It's been really challenging. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. But on that same breath, it's one day at a time. I choose every morning to be sober and I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for my body and I'm so thankful for this life and this opportunity to grow and change and learn every single day. So with that, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.